Hi and welcome to another video here from the windowcleaningstore.com. Today we're going to be talking about water-fed pole and pure water systems. What could be causing spotting on the glass or what could be causing you getting less than desirable results. Now before we talk about technique issues, I want to uh, take a few things off the table here. First of all, there are certain types of debris that you should never consider to try to remove with a water-fed pole. Some, for some people it's a no-brainer, for some people it's kind of wishful thinking. But if this was a post-construction cleanup, you're not going to get stucco off the glass with a water-fed pole. You're not going to get mortar or leftover silicone smears from the glazing. Any of that kind of stuff you're not going to get off. As well as certain kind of staining, such as hard water. Maybe it's a window that's been hit a lot with the sprinkler systems over the years. You're not going to get hard water stains off. Building runoff where you got rust or other kinds of atmospheric pollution running off down the glass and settling down as a stain, corrosion, that kind of thing. So let's just take that all off the table right now and just talk about either spotting or the windows still look dirty. And we're, and we're talking about dirt, just your regular everyday dirt that builds up from one cleaning in between up to the next cleaning. So if the windows are still dirty after you've done your scrubbing and rinsing, Nine times out of ten, it really is about you haven't scrubbed enough and you haven't rinsed off the, the loosened dirt. Now, just like with traditional technique, with traditional technique, you scrub the entire window. Yes, you're using soap, but the soap's main purpose is to help when you've loosened the debris for that dirt to suspend off the glass before you come back with a squeegee and you pull it all off. It's no different with the water-fed brush and pure water. You're using the brush and the pure water to scrub the entire glass surface, including the frames, to work that dirt into a solution and then pull the brush back and rinse with a steady stream going across the top to pull all that dirt, that loosened dirt, off the glass. If you're still seeing dirt at the end of the day, it's usually because you have not scrubbed enough. Now, some people might say, well, I don't have the right brush. You know, I'm using a nylon. Maybe I should be using hybrid brush like this one here it has the boys hair in the middle or even a full boys hair or maybe some back scrubber attachments now I can honestly say from experience that you can usually if it's just your regular dirt like I say the kind of dirt that just builds up from year to year you should be able to get it off with a nylon brush but the main differences between brush styles is how long you need to scrub for instance you could use a cheap scrubber sleeve and yeah I mean, anytime I've used a cheap scrubber sleeve on a regular window cleaning job, it's done just as good as a job as a very high quality or a specialized scrubber sleeve. But the specialized scrubber sleeve might have scrub strips in it and it ha might have like nylon bristles, like a porcupine sleeve, so it breaks through the dirt faster. So if you're using a nylon brush, yes, you may have to scrub a little bit more if, than if you were using a hybrid brush, such as this, or a boar's hair brush. So, like I said, if the windows are still dirty at the end, you have not scrubbed enough and you have not rinsed enough. But now we're going to move on to what causes spotting on the glass. This is a very common um, error or mistake. A lot of newbies uh, to water-fed pole work experience. So we're going to go over that now. Usually there's a few different areas of the glass that's common for getting spotting. Area number one is the spot just below the top sill. Area number two is this area just below the bottom of the frame. Area number three is spotting along the sides. And then number four is spotting all over. So let's tackle it one by one. So in your brush technique, you always want to start off with that top frame. You want to make sure that top frame is, is got all the dirt loosened off there and as well as rinsed off. You can go on and continue on with the side frames, the bottom frames, and the side frames again. And then when you go back up, you're only going to pay attention to the glass. Now, the reason why you want to make sure you thoroughly scrub and rinse this first is because if you just kind of haphazardly touch the top frame and then scrub the rest of your glass here, what's going to happen is this loosened dirt is still a little bit wet. It's going to, afterwards, it's going to drip down and it's going to leave spotting across the top. The other area is the exact opposite down at the bottom. 
where if you haven't scrubbed enough down here, the rest of your window can look great. But because like throughout the year, let's say let's say you do window cleaning once a year. Throughout the year, the window always has some dirt on it, rain hits it, pushes the dirt down. So it actually is extra dirty down there. So this is where you need to do a little extra scrubbing as well as a little extra rinsing because it isn't a place, like I can say, where it accumulates a lot of dirt. But we know what's causing spotting probably here. We know what's causing spotting or poor results down here. Now let's talk about the sides. So a couple things that can go on with the sides, and this is very common. If it is a fairly new window, there still could be some residual silicone smearing along the sides from when they've done the glazing. And what happens is, is that area becomes what they call hydrophobic. What that means is the water doesn't river or water doesn't uh, sheet down nicely, almost like a waterfall, if you will. What happens instead is the water just kind of sits there or it rivers off sideways or this way or that way or just kind of hangs there. So you're not getting a good rinse there. So sometimes what you have to do is you have to make sure that when you're rinsing, that you want to make sure that the jets are pointing right into the sides and you want to make sure that you know, you're not, you're not just going quickly by the sides, that you're giving enough time for that water to run down. So you're giving, getting enough volume there. And speaking of that, if you've noticed most water-fed brushes, the bristles come out to here, yet the jets may only just come to here. And what I see a lot of times what people do is, when they're rinsing the glass, they're only, like, you know, because they're working like two, three, four stories up, they usually only look at where the bristles are. So you see the bristles are going to the side of the glass, meeting the frame, and they think that they're rinsing to the sides, but they're not. It's actually, the water is actually stopping at about an inch or two in from the sides. So you have to make sure where the jets are goes all the way into the corners, all the way into the sides. Sometimes you can do it just by moving your body to the left and moving your body to the right, or simply just twisting your body. So if you twist your body, you can aim that water right into there, so you can make sure you can get a good rinse in there. Okay. So we've talked about the top, we've talked about the bottom, and we've talked about the sides. Now the other area is sometimes people complain that they have spots all over the glass, just generally. No, no real consistency, it's not like more this way, that way, it's just kind of all over. A couple things that could be happening here. It could be if you've got like windows above each other, and you've done the top ones, and then you've done the, the, the lower ones immediately after, you could still have some dripping from above. Sometimes that happens, especially if it's a windy day. So you've got windows all around there above, and wind's blowing around, splashing down onto your window. But more commonly, it's your rinse technique for the window in general. Now, one of the most common rinse techniques, after you've thoroughly scrubbed the glass, is to take your brush, most of the time just off, off the glass a little bit, and then just zigzag back and forth to cause a steady stream of water that will slowly push the dirt down. But here's a problem. Some glass out there, and you're starting to see it more and more, has the hydrophobic effect, somewhat like what we talked about here on the sides with the silicone, the silicone smearing that could still be there. Because over here, there could still be something like a coating on the glass, or just the glass in general just doesn't, doesn't like to sheet down nicely like a waterfall. So as you're rinsing, trying to go across the top, instead of the water coming down nice, it rivers off this way, rivers off that way, or just kind of hangs there. Doesn't really want to come down and off the glass and pushing everything down. What I suggest you do is if you come up to windows that appear to be rinsing that way, there is a technique that I like to call you know, uh, dividing, the, dividing the window into fast lanes. So instead of going all the way side to side across the window, just divide it up into, land, uh, into lanes. So what you're going to do is you're just going to do little short zigzags and you're going to follow the dirt down, just kind of push it down, get a nice volume of water in a small area before moving on to the middle and then going so this window could be divided into two or three fast lanes. It's especially true if you've got very wide windows. Sometimes it's going to be a real pain to try to rinse those if you're trying to just zigzag all the way across side to side. 
So the higher concentration of water that you can get on the glass in one area, the better rinse that you're going to have. And that's pretty much it. That's, it's, I mean, the only other thing, which is, you know, it's not too common, uh, but once in a while you will we'll get something known as oxidization smears. And what that is, is if you've got really old frames, or especially if they're pointed towards the south, they get, you know, with the sun and the wind and weather and everything else beating on it, the frames become oxidized. So a white window frame can actually start leaking out, kind of like a white milky residue once it gets wet. And sometimes you can get, uh, you know, like white milky streaks coming down the glass. Usually you can see that even when you're cleaning the glass, as soon as you start scrubbing, you can start to see some of that oxidization come off. If you ever do get a window like that, what I suggest you do, and it's probably going to be the same for every window on that side of the house or side of the, the building, is go around first, give all the frames a good scrub and a good rinse, move on to the next one, move on to the next one, just concentrating on the frames, and then finally coming back to your original window and only clean up to the top of the glass. Do not touch the frames at all. Because, you know, having done all the other windows first, you've given that first window enough time for those frames to dry out, and you should have spot-free results. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and, uh, you know, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and we're going to continue to have tips throughout the season. Hope you all have a great 2000, uh, 2023. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.